In this program, I'm going to show you how to quickly rename uh, a component in Delphi or even rename a variable in Delphi. Okay, so let's say you designed your pets or your program is done and you want to rename a certain component, but you call you, it's going to take a lot of time to go to each and every line of coding and to copy and paste the new name in there for example let's say we want to change level one um, okay if you have to do it manually it will be something like label output and now i need to copy and paste this throughout my program and i need to actually rename it here yeah? And then you will notice that you're going to miss a few. Okay, so the way I'm going to show you now, you just change it back to level one, is you can double click on that component, right click, then go to refactor, and then go to rename variable label one okay and then the old name is label one then you just enter your new name lbl output just go and say okay and then it will change all your our label ones to lbl outputs and when you run your program it will actually work okay so it's a quick way to rename your components remember i'm still gonna rename it under the properties you go to name rename it over there but now you need to change that name in your coding let's say we want to change the lbl or let's use another component let's say we want to change the edit box so it's going to be edt input go to your coding then you just double click on that component uh, to select it right click refactor rename variable edit one and then you can choose your new name for that component edt input okay and you can also do it with variables let's say you want to change i1 or i answer let's use this one i want to change i answer to just to something like i a and then it will automatically change all the I answers to IA. Okay, maybe in your Delphi it will not automatically change it. Then you can just click over there, apply refactoring, and then it will change all the names for you automatically. Okay, on the apply refactoring. Okay, so this can be quite useful and handy uh, when you're done with your pattern, you want to rename some of the components. You can just double click on the component, refactor, rename, choose a new name, and then just apply.